everybody. Welcome to another ride along with goggles. And uh, here we are in uh, Penticton, BC, or just outside of town at the BHP site, which I guess is Coastline Mining, I think. And we're heading to another BHP in, um, uh, where the heck are we going again? <laughs> uh, Penticton to, oh man, Braylorn. Yeah, that's it. So up in uh, northwest or western part of the map, uh, Promods Canada. So it should be a pretty neat trip. And um, yeah, so we'll see lots of neat scenery along the way, I'm sure. So uh, we should uh, get on with it. This is the uh, Roland 389. And uh, I got the 379 grill shell on it. And 359 headlights or well, mod headlights. Um, let's see what else. Looks like uh, 359 air cleaners. Um, pink is Traverse, or sorry, Travis, uh, hydraulic beaver tail. And uh, Alcoa uh, wheels on the front from the Alcoa wheel pack and steam, and then Ratro developments on the back. And what else? Uh, the Montana Express skin. So I haven't put this out yet, but I'm going to shortly. And um, the skin is uh, going to work on the SCS 389 as well. So the uh, dual purpose cover two truck skin. It's kind of cool. The only thing I'm worried about is that the unit number on the back kind of like where, where I want it on this truck but there's reflective tape there on the uh, back of the SCS truck so that doesn't work and the other thing that wouldn't work would be the uh, unit numbers on the air filters because the air filters are either chrome, chrome or solid paint but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it I guess I'll have to probably publish two skins but just so you know, if you've got uh, Roland's truck, uh, you can put skins from the SCS 389 on it. The only downside is you can't have both trucks in your mod profile, or sorry, even in your profile. If you have the uh, Roland 389, and then you go to buy uh, a 389 stock truck at the dealer, they're going to get a Roland can't have both, which is kind of weird, but that's what it is. So if you want, if you want both, you got to have them in different profiles. But this body, this, uh, this Roland 389, what it is, is the SCS 389 with a ton of options. And a whole bunch of interior animations and stuff. A lot more detail on the outside. A lot more different options and choices. It's quite a bit different. So once again, Topanga, you see a really nice detail on the cargo. It's pretty special. Late, you know, his later trailers are really good.
take a look around here at uh, some more Promos Canada. Can I get a map for free? I always just pay the one euro to get the fast download. Just because I'm impatient. And I mean, I'm sure uh, I can need even a euro. Hopefully, it enough people download and pay that euro that it's worth it for them. I mean, really, this could be a paid mod. Is that good? I, uh, I looked for the grader that I saw last time and I couldn't find it for a load. I really wanted to take that one and check it out. <coughs> but when I was looking at the loads, uh, I think we got a load uh, the uh, New Holland T8 or T6 tractor, whatever it was, or 60, I can't remember. Um, and, uh, you know, I really liked the quality of that. But I see there's the Caterpillar Challenger tractors, the cargo as well. Not familiar with the Challenger, it's a, a rubber tract, an agricultural tractor, but it's not a quad track. It's just got uh, you know track on each side, the big big honk and drive wheel at the back, and it tapers down to a smaller front drive wheel and bogies support the track, the track Yeah, so anyway, that's, I saw that. Pretty cool. And uh, there's this, there's a small bulldozer. Can't remember what it was. It was more like, you know, one of the, uh, reminds me of those, uh, I think it was a cat, but it looks like one of those John Deere ones with the hydrostatic drive for you know, landscaping, the ones they use along the side of highways and construction. So, it, however the drive works on those, it's... So, with the bigger cats, the way they work is they... They clutch the final drive, so if you want to turn left, you pull on the left clutch lever, and it disengages that track. And the right track keeps pushing, and that steers the dozer. But the downside to that is you're losing drive to that left track. So your, your overall effectiveness and push from the tractor goes down. So with the John Deere system, 
it just reduces them out of drive to the track, or it slows them out, of, it slows the RPM, oh boy, watch it, it slows the amount of drive down, and uh, oh, we've got a brake check, uh, so anyway, it slows the uh, RPM down, but it keeps power to it, so, uh, which is really good, especially that's why they like them in those landscaping along the side of highways or overpasses and those big slopes they work really good for that because they um, they um, keep keep pushing both you know both tracks and when you're on a big side slope you don't want to have one track disengaged that's not exactly safe you end up doing a dosi do and a twirly down the hill you know so, but anyway, that little dozer kind of reminds me of that look. It's on near 750s, I think they are. Yeah, one of those ones that uh, would have the, uh, one of those six-way blade or more. You can angle it, tilt it. What else was there? There was uh, telehandlers, forklifts, all kinds of stuff. So we'll use this trailer a little more, get some of the more variety in those loads. Go straight. Stayed in that left lane. Great liner. I wonder why vehicles are off the ground in this game. I don't know if you see them, like, look over there. These vehicles aren't on the, on the ground, and then you get near them and they drop down to the ground. I wonder why that is. They had the stop sign, I did, but I, I had to stop. Viva Mexico! Yeah, 
Yeah, so I'll try to get this skin out. Uh, I think this is Sunday, so today or Monday, because uh, I think I mentioned that. Uh, well, actually, the day you're going to be watching this video, I'll be in getting my hernia surgery, and uh, don't know how that's going to go because it's a mess. Like I've had this hernia for well over a year. It's a big one. I actually have a second one going too. It's uh, upper abdomen, so it's not like the. Oh, hang on. Cash going um, It's not like the little groin hernia or anything. It's it's a biggie. So I don't know what kind of shape I'm going to be in for a while after. So I'm going to try and get a bunch of videos done here today and tomorrow. So. Um, Will, uh, feel a, won't be any pressure to get back on the sea here. Man, looking forward to having this done. Got this big belt around my midsection I got to put on every day. And got to cinch it up so tight to hold myself together that um, it's after 100 yards turn right it's actually hard to breathe and when I'm like I'm mowing the lawn or something like that I can't turn wait right. because it got this thing wrapped up so tight and I'm really looking forward to it at the end of the day when I take it off and it's quite a relief. So after 100 yards, turn left. We'll see how it goes. So here we are in Lytton, BC. Turn left. Of course, this is a town that got wiped out by fire last year. Completely gone, the whole thing. When ProMods Canada first came out with this update, the two updates ago, Litton was supposed to be in it, but they didn't put it in just out of the shock and how recent the tragedy was. And uh, but I uh, see, you know, this is the latest update, and they put it in. Just kind of interesting choice, I guess. But this is a really dry place. Uh, lots of this area in the interior of BC. Seems like it's always on fire. Lots of forest fires. Lots of heat. Really hot in the summer. Well, let's set. Uh, I can't remember what the temperatures were. Three days, like around the time of that fire, it was like 49 degrees Celsius, which is. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, I don't know, 110, 120 or something Fahrenheit, three days in a row. And it set three uh, records three days in a row, but then um, it had been dry as well for a long time, either side of that, and uh, the place was, it just went up like kindling. Here's that shortcut we took the other day, or that, oh no, not here, just up around the corner. Try and get some uh, good videos going here for you guys to watch. I think what I gotta do is uh, I gotta. Uh, I haven't checked to see how the haze. 
clippers working in 144 yet. Clippers, yeah, it's working. We do a trip with that. And, uh, what else? What haven't we done in a while? Always came for a 351 trip somewhere. I guess what I could do after this, uh, once I start crunching this one and rendering this video, maybe I'll have a go at. Uh, Seeing if the skin will actually left. Oh, no, After maybe not. fifty yards, turn left. I was thinking of trying this skin on the 351, but turn left. That line around the roof ain't gonna happen. So I think I'll just give that a pass. Oh, I'm gonna uh, pause here for a second, get a screenshot, guys. Back in a second. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Holy. Find a gear because the fan won't pull me. Yeah, the traffic stopped there and it's in their lane. That's handy when you're trying to... After 100 yards, turn right. When you're in convoy and you want a buddy to be able to catch turn up. right. Around a curvy section. Just drive in the other lane when you can and it'll stop traffic and he'll be able to get around folks and catch up to you. This um, turn left. skin on Pinga's truck did, did pretty good on steam, but it sort of shows like how many guys have the truck, and uh, it's going to be interesting when I put this one for the roll on up to see how many subscriptions that gets, and get an idea how many more people have this truck than Pinga's, or you know if the numbers are similar. popular truck despite the price which is exorbitant after 100 yards turn right
trailer will be a dawdle through here because the uh, short wheelbase, short wheelbase to the kingpin on the trailer is not very far. So it's pretty maneuverable. Mm -hmm. But if you come through here with like a triple uh, low boy or something, mm -hmm. you gotta be cut way out to get the uh, clearance you need. And these guys just drive up here inside, I think right here. They turn back around this way and punted the guy into that rock there. Now they're behaving themselves, they're hanging back. After 100 yards, turn left. Another place I'll go around the uh, go around you. <laughs> let's see if they're coming down the hill. Yeah, let's see what he does. So they, it's not real bad right here because I got to go far out of my lane. So he's not gonna have anywhere to go around. But when I swing left to go around the right hander, he might dart up. Oh, he might dart up the inside. How much lane do I take? This trailer isn't super bad, so it should be pretty good. Yeah, I didn't hear any thunk. So that's the BHP uh, or Coastline Mining Site at the uh, just passed. We're going to the one in the Braylord. And across that bridge, we've come across there in the other direction in the video, I think. I did publish that one. I don't know. I don't remember. But uh, quite a road up there, up that mountain and over. Really tight dirt road. It's kind of bad with the low boy because the low boy is so close to the ground. And there's a bunch of places where it high centers. Plus the other guy, he got that value to whatever. It's like a Chanel. guys. First time I drove this road, uh, I had the Frosty Winter mod on, and uh, it was pretty cool. We're coming through here with all the snow, and trees covered in snow, and snow banks and stuff. Really rem reminiscent of a lot of trips that I had in the, in the winter near DC. After 100 yards, turn left.
how the throttles are hanging up. <laughs> uh, the shifter's not working. That's what's going on here. There it goes. Wow, it's really messing me around. Quite a road. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. I need a trailer a little bit soft. Uh, but uh, I do get into a little trouble. I go into the corners a little fast sometimes. It surely starts leaning and I open up the steering and yeah, I'm out by the guardrail. I'm trying to make it around there, so it's a double-edged sword. Looks cool. It's, it slows you down a little bit. But uh, you can make a mess of it. How much way do we go here? I guess. Oh, I'll just drive straight down here. Double steam engine there, that's really cool. Storm train. your destination. All right. Okay. We'll order that lean to, I guess. I like this little pup uh, that pneumatic trailer sort of here. Kind of cool. Oh, look at they, they got a wheel loader parked in the way. And that's sporty. Yeah, it just gotta make it interesting. Oh, that thing's squarely in the way too. You yeah, know, guy drives all this way. He's a little bit tired at the end of the trip. And they go and throw a curveball. That light right there, that red really pops. I think I put that color code in a, 
if you want these color codes that I use for the trucks, just say so. You know, you can pop them into the comments. take it. Pretty ugly parking job, but I guess I'm going to go and clear some uh, logs and trees inside the building there. <laughs> Offloading this thing in the dock. That's hilarious. Okay, kill the lights. Oh, it's an average kind of payday. Game wise, anyway, in real life, that would be pretty quite a bit of money. Um, yeah, so there we have it, guys. Um, thanks again uh, for all your subscriptions and stuff, really appreciate it. It's great, we're almost at 500, <laughs> we're getting there, so uh, we'll do it. So, uh, thanks again and appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, maybe consider it. If you uh, gotten anything out of the video or enjoyed it, give it a like. And if not, let me know. Take care, guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.